How are dino mummies created? There are a couple kinds of dinosaur mummies. The rare kind is like our triceratops, and that had thick layers of skin. It was buried in a black, anaerobic, bacteria-free mud. So it didn't have a chance to decay, and minerals soaked through the skin while it was in this black goop, anaerobic goop, and actually petrified the skin. That's very rare. Second kind of mummy is like the famous mummy in New York City. Beautiful duck mummy. It lay in a bed of sand. The skin rotted very slowly, and it left a beautiful impression of the skin in the fine, wet sand that solidified. Now you can see this impression of the skin all over the body. The rarest of the rare mummies is an inside out, where you have the outside, like Leonardo, and the inside, the actual stomach contents and the intestines were preserved in clay before they rotted. So you can see the particles of food here and here and here. The key thing to qualify you for a mummy is to have your skin dried up against your rib cage and your arms and your face. Some dinosaur mummies, very few, but some actually have a bit of the skin itself petrified. The usual way is that you've got to lie under the sun, safe from scavengers somehow, put electrified barbed wire around you. You're drying out in the sun, your skin dries out and stretches against your rib cage and arms. Do that for a couple weeks, maybe months, then bury yourself in sand and now you got yourself a mummy. But your guts have gone. To get your guts, mummified is really hard. To do it, you've got to seal the body right away. Seal it under the pressure of wet sand so it can't blow up. And start getting clay, dissolved clay, into the stomach and gut cavities. And do something special with the chemistry of the bacteria that are there. I don't understand it completely. How Leonardo got its stomach contents an intestinal tract so crisply preserved, I don't understand yet. It's wonderful, though. It's just spectacular.